In last week's video, we completely set up USB Loader GX to play our favorite Wii games. So today, I'm going to show you how to play those games directly from your Wii menu. The prerequisite for this guide is simply that you have your game set up properly along with the forwarder channel for USB Loader GX or the forwarder channel for Wii Flow if that is the app that you use instead. Also, you should always have Preloader and Boot Me installed for brick protection. As for the Wii U's Virtual Wii, well, for some reason, it only seems to work with games set up with with Wii Flow and not USB Loader GX, but I will also show you the steps to get those channels ready too. But good news, they are currently working on a fix so that USB Loader GX games will also work as a game forwarder. So make sure to subscribe to see when that releases. But for now, I'll link a video to get Wii games on your Wii U menu instead. But for those of us setting up game forwarder channels on the Wii, let's get started. So linked in the description, you'll see this Wii database website. So click on that link and you should get to this page. First thing I want you to notice is the game channels for A Boy and His Blob and Mario Party 9 will brick your Wii. So those two games, you just can't make a forwarder wad for, unfortunately. But now that you know that, just click the download and it should download. In my case, I'm pretty sure it detects a virus. So there's a pop up. I'm going to click on it. Now this is a known issue that it has a false positive when it comes to your antivirus. When I download it on my laptop, it doesn't have this issue, but when I'm on my PC, it does. So if it does for you, then you will have to allow it through. So I'm gonna go to protection history, threat blocked, clicking yes for Windows security. Under actions, I'm going to allow it. So I'm gonna minimize that and retry the download. And this time it worked, it'll be a zip file. But I'm gonna go back to this page, turn the protection back on. So it's all good. I got the zip file and my antivirus is back on and ready to help me out if I need it. So hopefully you had no issues getting this app. We can exit this page, but there's also a guide in here if you would like. And I'm also going to have this guide linked down below from the we.hacks.guide site also as a resource. It's a good guide, but it's not exactly up to date as I do have more information in this video than what's on there, especially about the Wii U situation. But once you have that program, you can exit there. We need a WAD manager, so the best one is Yam Mod Me Edition. If you don't have a WAD manager, come here and download. So we got that, we can exit out. And the last link is for Wii U users, those of you on the VWi. And just a reminder, it only works with Wii Flow on the virtual Wii and not USB Loader GI. So if you're on the original Wii, you don't have to worry about this. This is a program that turns your Wii WADs into virtual Wii WADs. So I will also show those of you that are on your VWi how to do this as well. So we can download that. So once you have all of those downloads, now you need to take out the USB drive, hard drive, or SD card wherever your games are out of your console and place it into your computer. So now that we have that plugged in, we can go to our downloads, open up the Wii GSC zip file, and you will need an extraction software like WinRAR or 7-Zip. I use 7-Zip, it's free. Potentially unwanted app found, I'm gonna click my Windows security pop-up. I'm gonna click yes to allow, actions, and allow on device. Again, this is a safe program. It's a false positive, but if you are not comfortable, then you don't have to do this. So I'll minimize that. And you should see these files here, the setup exe and GSC installer. So I'm gonna move this over, create a new folder. We GSC setup, I'm gonna drag these in there. And once they're transferred over, we can go back to your downloads and delete the zip file. We no longer need it. I'll minimize my downloads, open up the WeGSC setup files here. So these are the ones on your computer, the ones we extracted. So now double click on the .msi, it opened on a different screen. You should see this setup wizard. Now I have installed this on my computer before, but just run through the setup and then click finish. Yes, if Windows prompts you and it successfully installed, close and you should find it in your program files. So if you go to your C drive or wherever you installed it, x86, and it's under the folder called wide Wii. Open that up and you should see Wii GSC. If you're struggling to find it, just go back to this PC and you can search Wii GSC and it should come up with it. So it takes a while to search, but once it comes up, you got that Wii GSC folder right here, you can go inside and you should see all of this stuff. Scroll down where you see wegsc.exe, right click it and run as administrator. If you do not do this, it won't work. So you do have to run it as administrator. Let's do that. Press yes when Windows prompts you. Opened on a different screen, I'll minimize that. You'll see this message, press okay. Keeps opening on the wrong screen. 
common key created successfully, press OK, and then this one will come up. Just press OK, and you can just press exit, and the program should pop up. Here it is. So this is what it should look like. So what we're going to do to make it easier is we're going to open WBFS drive and now we're going to select the drive letter. So over in this PC, make sure you know which drive letter your SD card or your USB drive is. Mine's G. Yours may not be the same. Just select your drive letter and it should automatically detect the games. Now, if you're doing it on the Wii, you can ignore this, but if you're on the VWi and you have Wii Flow set up with the forwarder, there is another step before creating the wads you go to configure settings and you do have to make sure it's set to comics but again if you're on the original wii you do not have to change anything this is only for vwi users but now let's get back to making the wads so i'm going to make one for donkey kong country returns so i'm going to highlight it by clicking it and then use for channel creation it should pop up over here and now we just have to choose the loader. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, it works for USB Loader GX or Wii Flow. So if you're doing USB Loader GX like me, obviously press this one and notice that it says USB Loader GX forwarder. So that means you have to have the USB Loader GX forwarder on your Wii menu for this to work. In my last video for ULGX, we got it installed. If you have Wii Flow set up, you also need the forwarder for that. But select your loader. You can choose your WAD naming, but it really doesn't matter. But I would suggest just leaving it on on game name so then it's easier to know which one it is and after that you simply press create channel you should see successfully packed wad find it here so this is going to be where our Wii GSC exe file was so unless you closed it it should still be up and it should be here give it a refresh scroll to the top you should see a wad folder here inside there is our wad it's good to go for the Wii if you're on VWi there's an extra step you can press OK, go ahead and create as many wads as you want. So I'll do Mario Party 8, use for channel creation, select your loader, and create. It's that easy. It's very simple. So I'll meet you back when I've created all of these forwarders. So once you have all your wads created, open up the Wii GSC wad folder. You should see them all there. If you're on Wii, it, you're ready to set them up on your SD card. But if you're on VWii, on your Wii U, there is an extra step and we'll do that now. So those of you on Wii, you can skip ahead to the SD setup part in the timestamps. So for those of you on VWii, open up your downloads again, open up the Wii forwarder to VWii beta, and you should see this one. We're gonna drag it onto your desktop or really anywhere you want. We can go back and delete the zip file. We don't need it anymore. Minimize that for now. I'll move this over. We're done with Wii GSC, so we can close that. And now let's load Wii to VWii. You should see this one. So I'll move this over here. We got our created wads on the left and the Wii to VWii folder on the right. We can delete the readme there. And then this program only converts one wad at a time. So you're gonna have to go one at a time yourself, but just grab the wad you want and drag it into the wad underscore input folder. Press continue and then run the exe file here. It'll open up this page right here. We have our wad copied over, press enter and it'll run through it. It was converted successfully, press any key to continue. And now you should see a wad underscore output. And as you can see, it's been renamed the exact same name, except it has VWi on it. So we can tell the difference. So just go ahead and do that and delete that one. And I'll go on to the next. So go ahead and do as many as you want. And I'll meet you when I'm done these. Wad output. And now I have all of my wads turned into VWi wads. Just for convenience, I'm gonna bring them back to where my Wii wads are. And now it's time to set up our SD card. So we can close Wii to VWi, open up your SD card or your USB drive, whichever. And first also open up your downloads because we have a WAD manager we need to transfer on. So open up the YAM ME zip file and just drag the apps folder onto the root of your SD card or your USB drive. I already have it from my last guide, so I'm gonna replace. But inside you should see YAM ME, that's, that's the app. So now we're done with that, we can delete. We're good with our downloads, and now it's time to transfer our wads on. So I'm gonna be doing this on the Wii that I actually used in my previous video. So I'm gonna go into my Wii wads, but obviously you'll have whichever wads that you prepared. If you don't already have a wad folder on your SD card, just go ahead and create one, WAD like so. Highlight everything and drag it inside. Now I have my USB loader GX forwarder one. Sometimes if you get a lot, you can make a folder and I just call it used 
and put the ones you've used in there. It keeps everything a little bit more organized. Or you can delete it as well. But it's nice to keep it, in my opinion. But now that you have your wads on your SD card, you're ready to take it over to your console. So let's unplug and I'll meet you over there. Whether you're on VWi or Wii, the next steps will be the same using YAM. All right, so over on your Wii or VWi menu, load into the homebrew channel. You should see YAM Mod Me Edition. We're gonna load that up now. And then now we're gonna select our source device. Mine's on SD, but if yours is USB, obviously select that. This is also your last chance to make sure you have Preloader installed. But select your source device. It will load directly into our WAD folder, as you can see and use your d-pad go down and press a on the wad you want to install press a again and it'll install these are all pretty small so they're pretty quick to install boom done so go ahead and install all the wads you want and if you're wondering how to delete them you can either come back into here and switch it from install to uninstall or you can go into your Wii data management and erase them that way once you have all of your wads installed press the home button it'll take us back to the homebrew channel Pop a couple bubbles, hit the home menu, and go to the system menu. Dun dun dun! Your Wii menu should be completely revamped. So there you go, and you can see once we load a game, it literally works just like a shortcut here. So it'll just load through there and directly into the game rather than the USB loader GX menu itself. And I will mention that the limit is 48 wads on your Wii menu and that doesn't include the disk channel and the system channels that came pre-installed. So there is a limit. If when you open the game, you get an error saying the system files are corrupted, don't panic because you should have preloader installed. All you gotta do is turn your Wii on into preloader, enter the homebrew channel and then go ahead and uninstall the wad. But there you go guys, you now have your game shortcuts on your Wii or VWi menu. If this guide did help you out, I would love it if you hit that like button, that supports me and it's free. Subscribe if you want more modding guides in the future, but I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>